I wanted to just take a few minutes to tell you a little about a little bit about who the HGA is and what we do. Um, so let me get my slideshow up there for you. So that's our mission, promoting home education and empowering home educators Australia-wide. So one important thing about the HEA is that we are 100% volunteer run. This is a photo of some of our volunteers and some of the things that, that our volunteers say, this is why they volunteer, this is why they serve the people. So they like to create community that helps other people to thrive. One of our volunteers said, for a long time I was on my own and so I volunteer to make sure others don't feel alone. Um, and another said, homeschooling's been such a blessing for our family. I want to help others on that journey. So the hearts of our volunteers is to serve and we are a fully volunteer run, not-for-profit organisation. So if you are receiving services, information from the HEA, you are being served by a volunteer who gives their time freely to help you because they're passionate about home education and they're passionate about choice and they want to use their abilities and their experiences to help other people in their community. The HEA is Australia's peak body for home education. So that means that we participate in a wide range of different things, including um, we were invited to participate in the ACT COVID committee where we appeared um, as expert witnesses on, on home education and several of the recommendations that that committee made were actually based on the testimony that HEA people gave to that committee. We put in submissions to things like NAPLAN when that's reviewed. Um, we're currently engaging with the Australian Olympic Committee's Education Department, which is really exciting to make some of their amazing programs accessible for home educators. And we do regular media engagement. The HEA does a lot of advocacy as well. So we've got a long history of advocacy with the New South Wales Parliamentary Inquiry in 2014, working with the Tasmanians in 2017 when the Education Act there was being reviewed. From 2017 to 2019, it was HEA members who lobbied the ACT government and ensured that the ACT's Education Act was reviewed appropriately and is supportive of home educators. When the Victorian Education Act was reviewed, the HA partnered with HEN to assist home educators there. Currently, the Queensland Education Act is under review and we've been working really closely with government and with other stakeholder groups to ensure that home education remains a legal and viable choice that home educators can make in Queensland. And we're also working very closely with the New South Wales government, Queensland government and Western Australian government and we meet with all of those people several times a year, um, a lot of the time just to make peacetime relationships and to make sure that those doors are open so that if problems come up, that there's something that we can do about that. The advocacy really works. And you see on your screen there um, a little graph of the show cause notices. So this is a thing that happens in Queensland. Um, it's the first step to having your registration cancelled. And back in 2019, we noticed a spike in those. The community started to say, hey, you know, people are getting these show cause notices. We didn't, no one's ever had them before. What are we going to do? Um, and that's around about when, in response, the HEA stepped in and started meeting with the Queensland regulator quite regularly. And within 12 months, you can see a really sharp drop in those numbers. So from 10% down to less than 1%. Um, so it really is, you know, a lot of the time it's slow going. It feels a lot like banging your head on a brick wall a lot of the time. Anyone who's engaged with government knows that feeling, but it's very true that a drop of water washes. And so that's what we do in the background for all home educators. We also provide individual ad advocacy for families on request. So lots of times that's around help with exiting school or it's around unhappy registration outcomes when people come to us and say, hey, I think this is unfair. Um, sometimes that involves legal action as well, and we provide those families with the support that they need along their journey. The HA provides lots of benefits to members, and so I'm going to run through these really quickly, but they are all on our website. 
Um, and so it's really important to know that we have an EDU email address that's available to our members. The EDU email address gets you access to things that are specifically for students. So places like Samsung and Lenovo and Adobe all recognize our EDU email address and you can go there and buy your kids computers at student prices instead of at full prices. We've also partnered with Microsoft to bring HA members access to the free Office 365 um, and we facilitate that. So that, that means we've got a volunteer who works in the background to, to connect all of those details up. So it doesn't happen automatically when you put in your order for Microsoft 365. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. Um, and there was a lot of work that went on behind the scenes to establish those connections as well. We've also partnered with Google and the HA is recognised as an educational institution with Google, which means that you have unlocked all of the, the power of the Google education resources. And we can facilitate Minecraft Education Edition for our members. You can also, so included in your subscription to HEA, you get subscriptions to other things. So we purchase a number of different products and then we make these available as an inclusion in your membership. So some of those things include Newsademic, Storybox Library, National Drama Online. We have discounted HA conferences so if you're a member and you've come to this conference hopefully you only paid the member price. <laughs> we also include subscriptions to Billy the Pig and Her Pal and Grand Shake and Your Mob Learning. So those ones are all new in the last 12 months. Um, so if you haven't seen them yet, make sure you check them out. Some things are for really little kids. Some things are for kids who are almost grown up and looking for work experience and moving out into the world. Um, Your Mob Learning is actually a platform that, that teenagers and parents can use together and can study together and learn a little bit more about our Aboriginal history. We also provide phone and email support. We've got a helpline telephone line that again is manned by our volunteer teams. And those really experienced home educators take turns. They have shifts where they work and they answer people's inquiries. So anyone can ring that, it's open to the public. The HA funds that service. Um, we also provide support by email. We have some state-based registration teams and those guys work really hard at answering all your questions and supporting you through managing and, you know, navigating all of that legal stuff that lets you be registered. We provide student ID cards as a service to our members and, of course, discounted educational products and services. So if you have not seen our member shop yet, you should go in there because there's an overwhelming array of products that you can get for less than full price. We provide newsletters and articles and blogs and in, we also provide insurance. So we have a couple of different insurance policies. We've got a public liability policy that covers events and excursions. We have personal accident insurance for work experience placements, which means that young people can go and take a work experience placement. And we also have personal accident insurance for our volunteers because, heaven forbid, if they should be injured doing their HA work, then we don't want them to be out of pocket for that. Um, it was interesting that the HA was actually born out of a need for insurance. So 21 years ago now, that was the thing that caused the HA to come together in the first place. Because, you know, if you want to gather together in a local hall to have a science group, then you need public liability insurance. And for small groups to get that, that's really expensive. So the HA facilitates that for members and makes it available. We do, of course, have volunteer opportunities. So if you are feeling inspired to share your knowledge or skills, it really doesn't matter what it is that you are good at or interested in, I will be able to find you a spot on our team. So please get in contact with me if you're interested in that. And we have some webinars that we've so video library that's always growing on our website. The HA is also a registered charity. So this is a really important part of who we are. We provide support for home educators in times of need. So sometimes that's around natural disasters, floods, fires, that kind of stuff. We've also provided support during COVID as lots of families are doing it tough at the moment. And we had 
um, we've like we've got grants to be able to in the past we've had grants to be able to provide COVID relief memberships to the HA so that people can still access all of those resources for their homeschooling without having to pay. We also partner with um, other charities from time to time. So Solar Buddy is is one of our favourite charities. They do energy poverty work overseas and that allows children overseas to be able to access education. So we feel like they're a really good fit in terms of our mission and theirs to promote education for all children. Um, and we run a charity bookstall. So within our website, there is a charity bookstall there. All the books are available for a donation plus the cost of of postage so you know if you wanted to pay twenty dollars that's great if you wanted to pay two dollars that's also okay um, so check out those things 